I was talking to my niece and I was telling her that I'm actually going to go outside tonight and go do some gardening in the nighttime. And she was asking, why in the world would I be gardening at nighttime? Is there anything actually worth it? I mean, why would you actually do that? It's the nighttime. You can't see. Let's talk about it. But you may be asking yourself, why are you gardening in your, you know, in the nighttime anyway? So in this video, I'm going to tell you about a few different reasons as to why it's actually a good idea to be gardening in the nighttime. Let's go. What's going on, my plant peoples? I am the ADHD gardener where I use gardening, house plants, and humor as a much needed form of mental health therapy, sobriety, and learning how to navigate this crazy ass world with ADHD using our garden. And uh, I'm standing right out here in the nighttime. I hear bugs flying all over the place. And you may be asking yourself, why am I in the garden? Why am I gardening at nighttime? Don't you want to do this in the middle of the daytime when you actually can see what you're doing? No. There's actually a few good reasons that we can be gardening at nighttime. And I'm going to tell you the first one. And the first one is you get to avoid the heat. I could not do any gardening today because it was so hot out. I'm in Pennsylvania right now. And today was like at least 87 degrees. And I already know tomorrow is going to be 91. That means there is no gardening in the middle of the daytime. I can't even imagine what it's like to just be gardening in the south. It's got to be so hot that you just can't even show your face at all. So you know what? Try out the nighttime gardening. I love the sun. I love the heat. I am Caribbean. I like all this stuff. However, it does not do well with my health. So for anyone who has health issues, do not go outside during the day. Sometimes you really do just have to wait in the early morning or the late evenings into the nighttime in order to do some gardening. Because right now, I'm boiling up and it's only been like, what, a minute, two minutes out here? That sun is so strong that it can actually drain your physical batteries. You're out here for a few minutes, next thing you know, you start sweating too much, you start getting dizzy, you start getting nauseous. That's the beginnings of a heat stroke. And I've had heat stroke and it ain't good. It is not good at all. So if you have health issues, really try to avoid the sun. You should really try it out because all you need is one really large uh, shop light, grow light, something that you can just illuminate your entire garden or at least a good portion of where you're going to be at. Just a little tip here, whenever you're just trying to put up your little light that you're going to be using to uh, light up your garden, it doesn't have to be a big light. It all depends on how much of the garden that you want to just be lighting up. Whenever you're putting up your light that you're going to be using to light up your entire garden, make sure that you're gardening away from that light because that light is going to attract a lot of bugs. And let me tell you, uh, try gardening with a bunch of bugs in your face not cool at all so just kind of garden away from it i put my light all the way up on top as high as i can make it so it can just shine right down into certain areas of my garden another good reason to garden at night is because you can find out how much of a bug problem you really have because during the day you may see a certain amount of bugs you know you see some beetles you see some you know caterpillars but really, how many bugs are there? The only way that you can really truly see the amount of bugs that is inside of your garden is at nighttime. You're gonna see a lot of bugs during the day. You're gonna see your typical beetles, your caterpillars, your flies, your moths, but really, what is underneath the soil and definitely what type of bugs are you gonna be able to see at nighttime? That's when you're truly gonna know how many bugs you have. And this would be the time to be scouting out, especially if you have like a bug problem, like I have the vine squash borer problem or the squash bug problem. So right now, I'm on the hunt for those specific bugs. I know that I have a hard time looking for them during the day, but what are the odds of me trying to find one of those bugs at nighttime but we're gonna find out because i really gotta kill these bugs and you know what why not try it at nighttime the only bummer and downside to gardening outside are the bugs it's good to observe all the bugs that are out here but just know that you know what uh, there's a lot of other bugs that are trying to attack you like mosquitoes like these gnats out here so it's a give and take you know what i mean or you can be rocking those net hat thingies my niece just mentioned something interesting about the ticks. What happens if you garden at night? Sometimes, depending on where you live, if you're like in the straight woods of like in the mountains of Pennsylvania, then you may come and you know encounter ticks, and those ticks are absolutely everywhere. So if you notice, I do have some landscape fabric down here, so I make it at least weed-free as possible because where there's a bunch of grass high up there, depending on where you live, you're gonna see some ticks, and I'm not down for that. Have you ever tried watering your garden during the peak hours of the sun? And you ever noticed that, you know, that water just kind of gets sucked up super fast? That is because of evaporation. Every time I try to garden out here during the day and I'm watering my garden, it gets dried up like super fast. And that's because of the sun is just beaming down and just drying up all that water. 
which uh, you know it does me no good and I certainly my water bill is not gonna like it either So that means that if you just want to like turn on your irrigation like I'm gonna be doing or you can just come out here with a hose and just do all your watering at nighttime the water is not gonna evaporate as fast and it's gonna give your plants time for it to get sucked up by the plant so watering at night definitely the way to go another reason for gardening at night is just to gain another different perspective of your garden it may look the same to you but if you really take a good look at it maybe you will spot something different i'm just sitting right here but if i'm just scanning right now is there anything that i can observe from nighttime that's different from the daytime or maybe i'm missing a little small detail that you can see in the nighttime like eggs that's a perfect one because i'm looking at my eggplant right now and you can definitely see and spot those eggs. Now that brings me back to the bugs. Remember I was talking about that? My niece is over my house and we've been chilling for a few days and she asked me what is it about gardening at nighttime that's so special? So what is your question that you have for me? Should you really be gardening at nighttime or should you do it at daytime? Of course you're gonna be gardening in the daytime because daytime is like awesome to do some gardening, but it all depends on where you live and how hot is it. Oh, you know what? And speaking of which, especially if you have a busy schedule, I mean, maybe sometimes like your off shifts are like in the middle of the nighttime or something or late at night. Why not just take a light outside and just go garden a little bit, you know, do a little weeding or inspect your garden and see what's going on with it. Last but not least, it is all about the flowers. There are different varieties of flowers that you can really see and definitely shine amongst the rest of them during the nighttime because they bloom at night. There was one particular flower that I wanted to grow myself before I realized it was kind of like invasive a little bit, but it was that moon flower. You can see this beautiful white flower that just blooms at nighttime. I don't know if you can see it in the daytime, but even if you can see it in the daytime, I wonder if it looks differently in the nighttime. After all, if that's the type of flower that's supposed to bloom in the nighttime, I want to know what it looks like, especially if it, you know, if you compare it to the daytime. All right. Mm. There's a bunch of different varieties. I believe I'm going to name right here, there's going to be at least five of them that you can grow some really nice flowers at nighttime. So if you have insomnia like me, I'm telling you for those night owl people, people that just can't sleep or just want to pace around in the middle of the night, why not pace around in the middle of your garden? Let me know down in the comments below, have you grown any flowers at nighttime? Have you tried any? Have you had a good time with it? Do you actually see a difference between daytime and nighttime? Let me know down in the comments. I'm really interested to know because I wanted to grow some myself, but I also was thinking about, man, is that an invasive plant? So if you know any flowers that bloom at night that are not invasive, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button. I really appreciate it. And then also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because you <laughs> that's my niece right there. Do all that stuff. Notifications, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Also, you can catch me on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. Uh, Facebook is my everyday thing. I throw memes, uh, write whatever's in my head. Uh, Instagram is all about my reels. And TikTok is all about my sobriety, ADHD, and a little bit of therapy thrown in there. Until the next episode, you guys, where you and me both are going to be growing our happiness one plant at a time, one day at a time. I'll check you out later in the next episode. Peace and love. Subscribe. Yeah, you, you can at least bring one bag. And then you put the bugs in here? Yeah, why not? And if you want me to catch all fireflies? If you want to, sure. Yeah.